Hello, I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, something I bought last year and I thought about making a video last year but I didn't. So let, let me do it this year. Um, it's the multi-way dress. Uh, convertible dress, uh, I don't know, there, there are many names by that they call it. Um, this is it. This is something, it's something like this. This one is was bought in Etsy. Uh, in a shop, I will put the link in the description box. And this was bought in another shop called Light in the Box. So let's let's try it on, and I'll tell you what you can do with these dresses. So this is the basic of the multi-way dress. You put it on like a tube. It's called a skirt, and then you tie it. And the way you tie the straps, the this in uh, very very long straps, is the way you define the dress. One of the basic uh, ways to wear it is this one. You cross it at the back, and then you just wrap it around your waist, tie it at the front or the back, and you see. This is the basic way to wear it. I guess. But there are more basic ways, you see? Have a look. Like this, like so. And any way you put it, you always get like a nice skirt. I cannot show it to you, but you know, you get a nice skirt. I quite like this, this thing. I think it's quite glamorous. I will change and uh, show you with the other dress. Another way to wear it is with the uh, straps like this and then just crossing them but don't just make them stay wide, open, stay open so it covers your back like this and then wrap around your waist. Like this. And you can also turn it into an upper altar top like this. Just put tight so it stays well in place, right in place. This dress is fun, isn't it? Like this. Instead of wearing the straps on the front, you turn it around and you wear it from the back. This way the dress gets shorter. So you can wear it this way. Or you can wear it this way. I'm wearing some of those adhesive bras that don't have back. Because the problem with this, uh, uh, with this dress is that in most of the ways you wear it, maybe you expose some bosom here and when you move um, it may go a bit farther so you have to take care of that. I think this is quite pretty, this is one of my favorites. have to 
have fun with it. Just, just try everything you can imagine, every position. Like in many other things you can do as well. <laughs> ways of wearing this thing but uh, there are some I don't like like when you twist this the, especially the ones that have twisted shoulders I don't really like them but I'll show you just in case you like you twist this and this with an alter tube like this one similar to this one this is from Zara and um, this is uh, similar to what they sell but they sell it with exactly the same color like this uh, like the cloth so I think it's a good idea to buy one of those because you can use it with this and it's safer for big possum and all that I'm not worried about how much you expose. I think this back doesn't look nice when you wear a top. Maybe another back? Or like this. Whichever you prefer. And also you can wear it like a skirt, you just put it around your waist to send this to the back and try to hold the sides with the, um, with the pieces of cloth that are coming to the front cross it, then cross it at the front tie it to one side with a ribbon or with uh, no ribbon, uh, whatever you like. Powerpuff girl, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, it looks pretty, especially for younger uh, women. And on the front, you could put something like this. Or you can wear it like this. that the dress that has got like this in the under the breast part it's got like uh, these ruffles here um, is uh, not very good when you are doing this kind of, of, of ways to put it because uh, the, the ruffles get like uh, crumbled here and it doesn't look nice this one hasn't got a uh, uh, ruffles here it doesn't got this uh, fringy thing so it stays nicer and it looks flatter and it doesn't make a funny thing, a funny shape here, which looks much better. Do you fancy this dress or these many dresses in one? Mm -hmm. 